In this video I'm going to show you how to create a blog using Django 3. We are going to start by creating a virtual environment. We do this by running virtual env and the name of the virtual environment. I like to call it python and the version that I'm running and that will be 3.6.4 and hit enter. When the virtual environment is created we can go into it and activate it. We do this by running source bin activate. It added this in the front and that means that the environment is activated. We can now install Django. As you can see here, it's installing version 3.0.5 and some other dependencies for Django. And when Django is installed, we are ready to create the first project. We do this by running django admin.py start project and the name of the project which here will be code blog. We go into code blog and see that everything is okay. We can try to run the project just to check it out. Python manage.py run server. And here's the address. We can copy it and go to Chrome and see how it looks. Just paste the address up here and you see that install worked successfully. Perfect. Then we can go back to the terminal. Hit Ctrl C to stop the server. Now we're going to create a blog application. Do this by running python manage start app and the name of the app which will be blog. Inside the blog folder there's a couple of files. In this video we're going to go over the models where we describe to the database how the data should look like. So we can go to Visual Studio Code or whatever editor you like. I have opened the project here in Visual Studio Code and I'm going to go inside the blog folder and the models. We want one model for the categories. We create it by typing this code class category which is the name of the model. Uh, we want the title field. We want this to be type of char field. Uh, we set the max length because that's required by Django. We also want the slug field to make it look a little bit better. We also want one model for the posts, so we create it. Class post models dot model. We can just copy these two because we need them here too. And above we add one field called category because we want it to be related to this. This is a foreign key and the field it should be related to is category. This is added so when we are in a category we can just say category.posts and we will get all posts related to that category. We need one more attribute on delete models.cascade. So, so when one of these categories is deleted all posts will also be deleted. We also want one field for the introduction to the text. So we add the intro. We want it to be a text field. And we want a body field. We also want a field to keep track of when the post is published. So we say date added models of date time field and we want this to be automatically added. 
I'll do now add equals true. And that's everything we need for now for the models. We also need to tell Django that this application blog actually exists. So we open up code blog and go to settings.py. Scroll down to install the app. And here are some default apps that Django needs. Underneath here, we can say blog and save. Now we can go to the terminal and update the database. Here we say python manage.py make migrations. I accidentally removed a S behind the model, so I go back to Visual Studio Code, go into models and add the S behind there and save. As you can see here, we are now creating a model for category and one for post. But this just made the migration ready and now we have to run the actual migration. We do this by running python manage.py migrate. Now everything should be updated in the database. And that was it for this part of the tutorial.